it's um, Thursday and I had an emergency um, appointment with the neurology for the issue I've been having with like my blood pressure but it comes to find out it wasn't my blood pressure so something else is making me feel like my blood pressure is dropping and like I'm like woo. So they thought it might be in the brain and so I went to neurology today. I have to follow up with blood work this evening and well this afternoon and um, I have to have an MRI done um, yeah next week I think. So that's what's going on. I did not eat breakfast. Let me tell you why I did not eat breakfast. Because I have learned in my extensive um, experiences with going to the doctors lately that a lot of times they'll do blood work that like they would like they'll be like, oh, you already ate, but so it's easier just to be like, no, I didn't eat. Let's just go do it. However, today it wouldn't have helped because blood works like way later and doesn't matter if I eat. Anyway, I'm gonna take this opportunity while I drive to um, tell you guys a little bit about me that I think I might have mentioned, but I'm not 100% sure. I was diagnosed with polycystic ovarian syndrome when I was 17 years old. The doctor told me that it would be hard, if not impossible, to get pregnant like without treatments, but that with treatments it would be hard, but possible. And he told me that um, that I, you know, what I, I don't know, like that, you know, irregular periods were part of it. There was like a whole lot of stuff. Um, dark facial hair, dark markings on your skin in certain areas. It's just a whole bunch of stuff. And of course, it makes it, doesn't make you fat. It does not make you fat. Being large is not a part of polycystic ovarian syndrome, but it makes it easier for you to gain weight and harder for you to lose weight okay well I will tell you this my friend my friends so many of you um, that it's true I gain weight like nothing I like I, I yeah, like a champion dude like a champion okay and it's hard to lose weight um, some people can go have drinks I, if I drink alcohol I will not lose weight that week. That's just how it's going to be. Um, there's certain, like, I can't consume silly things and then, like, oh, I'll just burn it off later or work it off later or whatever. I will gain weight at the end. Um, and, and that might be the polycystic ovarian syndrome. Everybody's body is different in the first place. So who's to say that's what it is and that it's not just that, it's a different makeup. I don't know. Has it been hard to lose weight? Now, people might watch my journey and be like, no, obviously it wasn't hard for her. She lost weight. And I would say to them, F you, because it was hard. When I say it was surprisingly easy, I mean mentally. Mentally, this time, in, in this war, I was ready. It was kind of like you go to battle and get wiped out. Your troops are gone. Like, your resources are used. And you're like, damn. Like, yeah, I knew I was going to get beat up, but I didn't know it was going to be like that. So you gather yourself and you go again. And it was like, and you get wiped out again. And, and, then, and then you start realizing that you're expecting to be beat down because you're, you know you can't win. And then one day, somebody says, wait. You have the best weapons and the best army. All you have to do is unlock it. And it's like a mental snap. And you're like, I can do this. Mentally this time, it was easier because I was ready and prepared. Every step of the way, I had thought things out. I didn't allow myself to defeat myself. But physically, it was hard. I busted my ass. I worked, sacrificed, and killed for every ounce I lost the end so yes I have polycystic ovarian syndrome and yes it has caused me to have horrible periods that 
I mean, like at, at times I would have three periods a year or one three month long and then nothing for 15 months. Like it was crazy, crazy. But I'll tell you this, since I lost 10%, the first 10% of my um, weight, I started a period. It was like the 14th of last July. And since then, I have had a period. They've been a little weird. Some of them are spotty, not really whatever cycles, but it's been one month, like four weeks, bam, four weeks, bam, four weeks, bam, four to five weeks, bam, four weeks, bam, like clockwork. This period that I'm on has been the first polycystic ovarian type um, syndrome type period like it's been spotty kind of coming and going not really kicking in not really going away it's been really horrible as far as cramps I've felt sick and ill with it but every other one has been like clockwork and it's been wild so do not let that or let a doctor telling you oh it's gonna be hard to lose weight or letting somebody tell you oh you're not gonna do it because of this do not let that get into your mental game because I am telling you, I was 255 pounds at five foot four and I have polycystic ovarian syndrome and I was able to do it because I put my mind to it and I got it done. Is it going to be harder? It might be harder, but that just means your victory will be sweeter. And I hate, I also had a child. Um, because, and you know what my doctor said? Congratulations, you're like one in however many numbers he said. And it was like, okay, great. And, and that is an amazing thing. But what I'm saying is you can't let a doctor tell you yes or no about anything because medicine is science and science is constantly evolving as they learn more. And should you listen to doctors? Yes. Should you take medicine? Yes. But at some point you have to realize, like when I was on tons of medication trying to get my head right and my body right it was like this is too much they were giving it to me without any regard like one doctor would give me like you know I, I would be seeing the psychiatrist and she'd be like oh here's some sleeping medicine and here's you know this is for your sleep because if you sleep better you'll feel better and this is for your mood because you ha you're obviously something's going on with your mood like no bitch I'm I'm depressed because I hurt all over and then I have a doctor, like like a rheumatologist, giving me muscle relaxers and anti-anxiety medicine. And then I have, and I'm telling them all what I'm on from the other doctor. And then I have, like, my primary care doctor, like, and it was just like, stop. Everybody stop. Sometimes it's not just medicine. Sometimes, like, I don't feel like anybody is hearing me. They're just giving me pills. And I had to make a decision for myself to try my best to take myself off of everything. And I'll tell you now, uh, the only thing that I am on is Clonopin for panic attacks. And I don't take those. Like I have a prescription of 60 and I've had it for over six months. If I have a panic attack, I take one or two if it's bad. Um, and that's it. And other than that, I work out like crazy. The anxiety goes away surprisingly when you work out. Now is it, all, is it gone? No. But the nervous energy that builds behind it like a storm is used up in a different way and you feel better. Um, you know, like the, the periods are, are regulating themselves. That has a lot to do with my weight. Uh, so many things are different and you can change it. You can be your own magic pill. Am I telling you not to see doctors? Absolutely not. That would be reckless and ridiculous. Am I telling you not to take medicine? Absolutely not. But what I'm telling you is to put yourself first, to listen to your body, and to work for it. And it will be the most beautiful and amazing reward you could ever get.
you just saw my workout summary. So, oh my god, I'm cramping worse than I have cramped in a very, very, very long time. And I usually have pretty bad cramps. <sighs> like, worse than labor. If you can believe that, I'm about to drink the muscle milk that I didn't drink yesterday. <sighs> an hour. I did an hour now. It was up and down. Um, it's, most of it was actually spent at 4.8 to 5 miles an hour. But I dropped down and I do this squat walk where you like stay down in a lunge and walk as fast as you can. I do that around 4.3 to 4.4. So I think my average was 4.6 miles an hour. So <sighs> cramping, cramping, cramping. Going to drink the muscle milk. I'll talk to you guys later. What? Pink. We're going to lunch. We're out to lunch. I'm sweating. I took my hair out the pony, so it's a little bit better. But we're out to lunch, and I'm sweating. <laughs>